everyone, it's Miss Susie the Story Lady or Mrs. Alexander if you're a Gwen Foss student. And I wanted to talk to you today about a middle grade novel that I just finished called A Friend Divided by Ernesto Cisneros. I've been very excited to read this book because Ernesto is a friend of mine. He used to come into my bookstore a lot and he had a group of people who were in an organization and they met in my store um, to encourage one another and to work on their writing skills. And Ernesto worked for a long, long time on this book and I was so excited to be part of that process and to hear about his updates. So I was very excited to read it. Um, so I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. And it's one of those books that kind of makes you kind of dwell on it for a while, especially if you're like me and this is not a mirror book, but a window book. So let me explain that mirror and window books are how we interact with literature, especially um, fiction stories that are realistic. So this is a realistic fiction book and it um, is not something that I would be familiar with. It's not part of my life. It's not something that I go, oh yeah, I can relate to that. That's happened to me. Even though it happens, very close to a city I used to live in and, and um, an area where I actually recognize some of the street names that Ernesto uses in the book. So um, I can understand some of those things, but it's a lifestyle that's so different from me. So it's like I'm looking through a window into someone else's life. But for some people, this will be a mirror book. It will uh, mirror so many of their own experiences that they will feel like they're seeing themselves in the book. And this book, I think, would be especially powerful for kids like that. And so for that, for those kinds of kids that, um, in this book, those would be kids whose parents are undocumented and that they are here legally, but their parents are here illegally. And it's just a beautiful story that shows the power of their family, how much they love each other, how much they're all trying to do the right thing and good things. And um, Efren is, um, is a legal citizen of the United States, but his parents are undocumented. And they're just so, there's so much fear all the time that his parents will be deported. And eventually one of them is deported. And it has experience with how he deals with that and how he has to really grow up very quickly and be a leader in his family. And how he learns to understand what his parents left behind in Mexico and how he comes to appreciate the life that they've given him in the United States. There's one really beautiful quote that I wanted to share with you. One of the nice things about this story is that um, in the back there's a glossary about six pages it looks like, six or seven pages, okay, maybe eight pages of um, Spanish words and phrases that are used in the book. So there's quite a bit of Spanish. So if you know Spanish, it'll be really fun to see that incorporated into the book. But if you don't know Spanish, you can often figure out from the context what is being said. But if you want to, you can look in the back and see what some of the expressions are. And I did look back at a couple of them a couple of times. So you're able to see what um, the author is actually trying to say. But um, I really love this one expression, and it's first written in Spanish, and then it's explained. So let me see if I can say it in Spanish, and if you know Spanish, don't laugh at me. So, a friend's face grew blank. She told me, he gave a hard swallow. Nos, nos quiesoron entrar, pero no sabían que éramos semillas. It's a Mexican saying. They tried to bury us, but they didn't know we were seeds. Jennifer told me her mom used to say it to her all the time. The words were as clear as day, so clear, they stayed in Efren's mind for the rest of the morning. So if you can imagine, if you are a seed and you're planted, what happens if you're given the right environment, if you're given light and water, you start to grow. And so the idea here is they didn't know we were seeds. They were just stomping on us. They didn't think we were valuable, but we started to grow. And I really love that concept. So this is a really, really beautiful story that is going to keep me thinking about uh, immigration, legal and illegal immigration for a long time. And this is a book I would recommend to students whose parents are undocumented or whose, students, um, whose parents have come from other countries and have just come here in any way to give them a better life. And I would recommend it to students who know kids like that and who would like to understand what that would feel like to have parents who come from another country to come here to give them those kids a better life. So I hope that you will enjoy it. I hope you'll check it out. Your library should have it. You can purchase it at any local bookstore or um, online at bookstores. So you can check that out. And again, it's a friend divided 
by Ernesto Cisneros. I'm hoping at some point that maybe I could interview um, Ernesto and talk to him a little bit about his book and maybe answer some questions. So start reading the book and asking some questions to yourself so we can answer those with him. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.